what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back if you are new here welcome to my channel where i talk all things beauty related as well as a few hauls here and there a few reviews and things like that so if you are interested in my content and you vibe with me then please double check and make sure you are subscribed take two seconds to look to your bottom right and hit that red subscribe button also make sure your notifications are turned on so that you can continue to be notified whenever i make a post i post on my community tab quite a lot also you guys please 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 watch the ads on my videos if they play because i know not everyone has ads on their videos if you have premium and things like that if ads do pop up during my videos you guys i greatly appreciate your support if you watch them because that does directly support my channel i will link all of the items that are available in stores of course but if it's something that is clearance out or that i cannot find then unfortunately i will not be able to provide a link for that and i recommend you guys check your own local stores but if you do shop any of my links i greatly appreciate it because that is another way to directly support my channel so without further ado you guys this is a collective haul from maybe the past few weeks um some of these things I may have purchased with gift cards that I got over the holidays. Some of these things may have just been random things that I picked up. I've been trying really hard not to buy any like new releases because my birthday is in like two weeks and I do plan on getting some gift cards and things like that for my birthday, which is when I will probably buy newer items and things like that. But these are just random things that I may have ran out of or things that I saw that I wanted to try. So without further ado, let's jump into hey guys. it. So I'm going to start with a few things that I picked up from Sephora. Some of these things are things that I mentioned in my last empties video, which I posted earlier this morning. So if you did not see that, I will link that up top. Um, but yes, you guys, some of these things are repurchases for me that I needed to pick up from Sephora. So let's jump into that. We're in a Bath and Body Works bag because I had already taken these out of the bag, you guys. A lot of these I've already been using, but I wanted to just haul them anyway. So the first item I picked up is the Sephora Micro Smooth Multitasking Finishing Powder. Um, I got mine in the shade Almond and I have been wanting to try this for a while because I've been seeing a lot of people that I follow that really, you know, do a lot of makeup talking about this and I just never got around to trying it. So I finally found one in a shade that I think works for me and I've used it a couple times and I do really, really like it, but I don't think I've used it enough to give like a full on accurate review of it, but I do really, really like the effects. I use this one more so for like an all over face powder, like to set my, my whole face. Um, and I'm liking it so far y'all. So again, I will have it links below. This has really really great reviews on the Sephora app So there's that see from the box already being ripped open. This is the rare beauty always an optimist four in one mist I told you guys in my last empties video. I am totally obsessed with this mist like this is literally My favorite setting mist so far and you guys can kind of see um, What I was talking about in my empties video where you guys can kind of see like the little oil particles in there So you really do have to shake this up like every single time you use it so that everything kind of mixes together because otherwise what will happen is when you get down to the end of this bottle all the little oil particles will just be settled and if you try to use it at that point it will just leave a bunch of oil droplets on your makeup so definitely make sure you shake this it even says that on the box it says shake well before use which i know we don't always do that but this is one of those products you really need to shake well before you use it but Definitely recommend this from Rare Beauty. This is one of my favorite Rare Beauty items. I've already emptied one, so there's that. Sephora item that I have been loving is this little solid brush cleaner. So um, basically, it's basically a solid bar of soap and it comes with this little mat. Um, I don't really use this little thing that comes with it because I use another mat that I'm going to show you guys later on in this video, but it's basically a solid bar of soap. And I love cleaning my brushes with this, you guys. Like this is probably one of the best most thorough brush cleaners that I have ever used that also rinses out really well. So I definitely recommend this and it's pretty affordable as well. Next item that I picked up from Sephora, this is another of the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealers. Um, this is the one that I told you guys I went a couple of shades lighter in to use for my under eyes. So this is the shade Caramel Corn, so 5.1 in. So 
it is a basically a more neutral undertone um honestly you guys i'm one of those really weird undertones where i have a little mixture of olive undertones i have a little mixture of warm red undertones and i have a little mixture of golden yellow undertones so this one works really really well for my under eye area i honestly could even go like with a more golden undertone like i could definitely do something with the um i think they have like the golden range so i could even do 5.1 g or something like that but this one works really well the praline is the one that i use to like conceal my dark marks that one's closer to my skin color but i just love this concealer you guys and just like i said in my last empties video this is literally a concealer that i use every single day it is literally my favorite and I will continue to repurchase this as long as it's available. As the next item I picked up is this Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Duo Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. This is actually a pretty popular shade at Sephora. It is usually sold out but I picked this up because I have been really loving like pink like really baby pink like shades when it comes to highlighters and blushes so this one was just right up my alley and I had to pick it up because it's definitely like a shimmery pink I would say so that is what it looks like really really pretty y'all I love the shades in there so I think I only like swatched it so I guess I can swatch it again for y'all so y'all can see so yeah it looks really pretty y'all I cannot wait to use this it's definitely right up my alley as far as the type of shades that I've been liking lately. And then I also picked up this Beauty Blender Powder Pocket Puff. Now, honestly, you guys, I don't own like the actual Beauty Blender sponge. I have a bunch of dupes from Amazon and Shein that work perfectly fine, melt my makeup amazing, like I have no complaints. So I will link my Amazon makeup items um, in the description box below as well. Like I have a whole Amazon storefront if you guys are interested in shopping it. But I also have some Amazon little pocket puffs that I've been using and I really, really enjoy them, you guys. And I have no complaints about those, but I have been wanting to try this one because it does have really, really great reviews. And this one is supposed to be a little bit more durable um, and a little bit better quality. And this will actually be my very first item from Beauty Blender. So I will see how it works out and let you guys know how I feel about it. Another item that I picked up, you guys, is this Huda Beauty. Um, this is the Easy Bake Setting Powder. Now you guys may have seen me haul this in my Sephora VIB sale haul from like this past fall and I got that one in the shade Kunafa but I ended up returning it because it was way too yellow for me so I was like okay I need to get another one that like looks better for my under eye and it was too light to use as an all over face setting powder so I also tried the cinnamon bun or cinnamon roll one um, I tried that one as like an all over setting type of powder and that one was a little too dark to set my whole face for so again you guys I just have really weird undertones and not all powders work so one thing I do really like about Huda Beauty though is that if you find a shade in one product that works for you there's usually like a little chart that kind of shows you okay if you are this shade foundation this will be your brightening color concealer and this will be your concealing color concealer. This is the color powder that you should pick up if you want something to brighten your like brighten your under eyes. This is the powder you should get to set your makeup like I love that they have those little charts. So the chart said that I was supposed to be the cinnamon roll shade as like my all over color for my face but it was just too dark but it did say that my under eye was supposed to be in the shade Blondie and I was a little scared. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little scared. I'm like, Blondie, this looks way, way too bright. But y'all, I tried it. It is literally now my favorite under eye setting powder. It blurs out imperfections, it brightens, it just looks so good, you guys. So as you guys can see, I've already been using it. I've already taken it out of this box, but I did want to include it in this haul because I 100% recommend it and I will definitely, definitely be getting a lot of use out of it so I'm very glad that I picked up the large container because y'all once I find a product that I like I try not to deviate too much away from it like when it comes to makeup anyway so I will be using this probably like every day <laughs> last Sephora item I picked up another item from Huda Beauty this is the glowish blur jam primer this was another one of those primers that I was telling you guys about in my last empties video um I really love this primer you guys like this primer is making me realize how much I prefer a thicker more tacky primer um I usually do use a moisturizer under my primer and then I let it fully absorb onto my face and then I prefer 
my primer to be thicker so it can really just kind of sit on top of my skin so that way my makeup really has something to grip onto because I'm always like paranoid when I'm using primers that I have to rub it in too much that it's really blending in with my moisturizer and just not creating like a solid base for my makeup so I have totally been loving this you guys I haven't used it today but I just the couple of times I did use it I really loved it it also helped to prevent my skin from getting super oily throughout the day so that's another thing that the huda um easy bake powder was really good with too like it literally like diminished the oil on my face so between that and this my makeup has just been looking so much better so much less oily so much more even lately and i have been loving this all right you guys and next we're going to jump into some things that i've picked up from ulta some of these were just like random clearance finds like you guys know at towards the end of just the year in general like ulta and a lot of other brands and things like that they will have a clearance section so my ulta was like loaded with clearance items and some of them were just must-haves for me the first ulta beauty find that i was like so pumped to find because if you guys watched my last empties video one of these products was in there and i was just so sad that it was not a permanent part of this brand's collection but this is the hemp's bake shop these little sugar cookie body butters as you guys can see i got this for seven dollars and fifty cents original price was fifteen dollars so it was half off and i will say you guys if you don't see this in your ulta anymore hemp's is actually selling this for half off on their website i don't know how much longer it's going to last i don't know how many more they have available but you can get these two body butters on on hemp's website for seven dollars right now so of course i will have it linked um because it is no longer available to order from ulta right now but y'all these both smelled so freaking good the packaging is obviously a little beat up but y'all the scents in here are so bomb there is the raspberry jam sugar cookie and then the sugar cookie cookie dough scent but y'all these both just smell so good if you are able to get your hands on it i definitely recommend it i wanted to mention that this one in particular is a very close dupe like scent wise to the fenty beauty cinnamon holiday butter drop like this one smells super similar to that one to me like almost spot on so if you were never able to get the Fenty Beauty one, I definitely recommend you pick this one up. Again, this one isn't as moisturizing as the Fenty Beauty and it does not have the glitter flakes in it. But as far as the scent profile, they smell very similar to the next item, which is not actually in the packaging right now. But this is the Real Techniques Little Brush Cleansing Palette. This is what I have been using in combination with the sephora little cleansing um bar soap pad that i really love and if you guys look at the picture on here it's got like the little thing where you can hold it on the bottom so this just makes cleaning my brushes so super easy you guys and it's a little bit larger than the one that came with that sephora little cleansing block so i have a little bit more room a little bit more texture to like really clean my brushes and this makes it this with that little soap from sephora you guys i literally can have a brush cleaned in like 30 seconds like whereas before it took me so long to clean one brush so i'm a lot more consistent with washing my brushes now that i have these two items so super super happy with this i will say that the soap that comes in here is like trash like it literally did not work that great so like i said i prefer the sephora cleansing little block that worked amazing with this and i also picked up a juvia's place concealer i've also been hearing really great things about this concealer as well this is the mini magic concealer in the shade 18 so again a lighter shade for me to play around with on my under eye so i have not tried it out yet i will let you guys know how i like it another clearance item um a brand that you guys know i love this is the hemp's fresh snowberry and vanilla cream you guys know i was a big fan of this scent this winter so had to get a backup because it was half off so this was 12.50 and to me you guys this smells like those cream savers like those berry and vanilla cream savers like that is what this smells like to me i was very much a fan of this so i was super happy to find it for half off and you guys i found a bunch of kiss lashes um i guess this was the kiss collab with meredith duxbury if i'm not saying that right i'm so sorry because i had not heard of her until i saw these on my clearance at ulta but i picked up a few of her lashes so i picked up the all nighter these are super super pretty 
um, I picked up a couple of these and I really really love like wispy looking lashes like this like I love lashes that are full and wispy they just really complement my eye shape so I got a couple of these so hopefully I like them so picked up the 4 a.m. so again a really wispy looking type of lash then lastly I picked up the angel eyes I picked up two of these so again these really just look very pretty I think these are actually what they look like on the back so just a really pretty fluttery wispy like doll type of look those are the type of lashes that I like I don't typically like my lashes to be too thick and full I really just like them full enough and I just really like the wispy like look I just feel like that complements my eye shape really well so very happy to try those out. As far as my lashes that I'm wearing today, these are actually from Amazon, you guys. So I will link those in the description box as well because I am obsessed with these. I have probably worn these for my past few videos and I just love them. The last Ulta item I picked up are these Kiss Nails in the extra long length. Y'all, I am a press-on girl, okay? When you are a bartender and you work in the service industry and I also work in an office now, so... I got a lot going on and I cannot always have long nails. Not only does it not always look the most professional in my line of work, but it just makes it harder for me to do my job sometimes. So I feel like there are days sometimes where I don't want any nails and I just want my bare hands. And then there are other days like today where I really, really want a long, cute little nail look. So I just love press-ons because they just give you that versatility, girl. When you're tired of them, you can take them off. You can possibly reuse them. If not, girl, throw them away and get something else like they just work for me in my life. That's what I prefer. Of course, I will occasionally still get my nails done because I do still get pedicures, but it just works easier for me for me to do press-ons because I change my mind a lot and press-ons make it a lot more affordable way for me to do that. So yeah, love these. These are probably ones I probably won't really wear until it starts to get like hotter outside. This is definitely one of those really pretty neon summer colors. Okay y'all, now let's jump into some of the things that I found in my local TJ Maxx and Marshall. Both TJ Maxx and Marshalls have a ton of stuff on clearance right now and I originally went in there to find some more like work clothes. So I was going to include the clothes in this haul but I might do that in just a whole completely separate video, but I do have a shoes that I wanted to show you guys. Um, and then of course the beauty products. Hey okay, guys, so the first thing that I found were these Steve Madden pumps, y'all. First of all, I actually have these exact same Steve Madden pumps in like the nude color, like the more pinky nude, and I love them. Like they are perfect for like the office, perfect for an interview, perfect just for a nice, simple, chic look. So this chocolate brown, is so cute but y'all guess how much I pay for these guess girl these shoes were originally $56 which honestly they were probably more than that because I've noticed with Marshalls and TJ Maxx like compared to price it's usually also lower than the retail price because normally these at Steve Madden I used to work I used to be a store manager at Steve Madden y'all so I know the prices okay but this particular pump I think was somewhere around 70 or 80 dollars so they were already a steal at at 56 but then Marshalls priced them at $29.99 and then they were on clearance y'all I got these for $15 $15 15 dollars y'all and i already tried them on they're super comfortable super cute and this is just a perfect fall winter spring and summer color like you can literally wear this color year round y'all so i was so happy to see this so girl if you're watching this right now check your tj maxx or marshall's and see what they have on the shoe clearance y'all because i was like so shocked to find these then to go with that you guys i did find this really cute little steve madden um wristlet and belt combo i really needed a brown belt that was like this shade like a camel shade um so i really like this because it has kind of like the checkerboard pattern on it so it's very subtle but then it has the little steve madden logo on there so i thought this was really really cute and then it comes with of course the little wristlet which i love these sometimes you guys because i don't always like to carry my purse like if i'm doing things or if i'm on the go i really prefer something smaller and more portable so i thought this was super cute and then you guys my marshalls has been having a ton of glam light and things like that my marshalls and my marshalls and tj maxx honestly have been having some really really amazing makeup so 
I don't really need a whole lot of makeup right now like especially when it comes to makeup palettes like I think after this haul I'm gonna kind of chill on hauling makeup palettes because I have more than enough that I love and that I use so this one was from glam like this is the Hershey's Kisses collection so this one is the milk chocolate palette so I'm just gonna put a picture of it on the side so you can see what it looks like swatched out and things like that but this was $10.99 and this one is like a really you know affordable quality makeup brand Leah Janae talking about this on one of her like TJ Maxx reels that she did on Instagram so I was like oh let me see what this is about so my store luckily had a couple of these so she's always like putting me on to the good makeup that's in stores right now okay so I had to check this out so I picked this one up because I think the colors and shades in here were more like bronzy like golden type of metallic-y shades and I really really enjoy that so can't wait to try this out and see how I feel about them this one which was super cute I thought this was so adorable since Valentine's Day is coming up which by the way y'all I do not have a Valentine so I will probably be having a Galentine's date with my best friend but either way I'm gonna be cute we gonna be cute okay so I thought this was so cute this is the lava cake one and this one the shades in here are a little bit more of like pinks and reds and things like that so I will definitely be giving a very cute pink look I'm just very much in my pink era this year you guys like you guys have been seeing me wear a lot more pink a lot more pink clothes pink blush like I'm just really into pink right now I'm in my soft girl era and this is just the year that I want to just be softer and more feminine so that's what we doing girl okay and also from glam lights I found the icy packs cherry palette so again I will have pictures of what they actually look like on the side so you guys can look at them but I do want to just open one up and show you guys it's just kind of hard to open things with these long nails y'all so just imagine me trying to bartend with nails this long like it's just too much but these are so pretty y'all look at these shades like these look so gorgeous so again with the pinks and reds I'm going to have me a time doing my makeup on Valentine's Day this year okay for $9.99 even on though on here it says they were originally $20 I think these were like $28 or something on the Glam Light website so again super great savings here at Marshall's also grabbed the blue raspberry palette which blue and green are probably my favorite colors but honestly I don't do a whole lot of blue and green eyeshadow looks so that is something that I wanted to challenge myself to do a little bit more of this year like instead of doing always like neutral and warm tone shadow looks I want to play around a little bit more with like blues and greens and things like that so that is why I picked that palette up because I don't have a whole lot of cooler toned palettes I also picked up the Milani Gilded Flora palette this palette has some really great reviews I can't remember if it was on Milani's actual website or if it was on Ulta or something like that but Milani is just a really great affordable makeup brand anyway most of my favorite like blushes and things like that come from Milani so I actually don't have any eyeshadows or anything from her and this has some really great reviews you can tell that this hasn't been open which I always check my makeup from TJ Maxx and Marshalls y'all just to make sure nobody is touched by stuff okay but yeah the color story of this you guys looks really pretty it was $6.99 and you guys this was another find I was super Super excited to see this is the flower desert lights palette um this is a palette that you can pick up from Ulta so I will again have it linked but this palette has some amazing 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 reviews like I've seen so many youtubers talk about this as well and the only reason I never picked it up was because it was an online excuse exclusive at Ulta and I just have not been in an online shopping mood this year like the past year I just really have not felt like ordering things online unless I absolutely have no other options so I just put it off and never really thought twice about ordering it but from the reviews that I saw you guys people were basically comparing this to a the quality of like a high-end makeup brand super super affordable and it just has a lot of those golden bronzy pinky tones that I'm really into right now and I'm definitely into over the summer so I cannot wait to get some use out of this this was $4.99 I'm pretty sure on Ulta's website it's like 14 or something like that again I will have it linked if you still want to try it out but I definitely recommend you check your local Marshalls or TJ Maxx you guys and then I also found an Urban Decay Naked Honey palette this is another Urban Decay palette that I've been wanting to check out from Sephora but I just have not felt like 
purchasing it at full price. So TJ Maxx had this for $24.99, which y'all know Urban Decay palettes are typically like 50 or 60 bucks. So this one again has the same color story of colors that I really, really like. So just those yellows, those golds, and all of the reviews on the Sephora app were bomb for this y'all. So I had to pick this up. It was literally in pristine condition. My store actually had like five or six of these y'all. So I was very surprised, but I'm sure they will not last through the weekend. So I had to go ahead and pick one up. The last palette that I picked up, this actually was not from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. This I actually ordered from the Too Faced website. Like this might have been around Christmas time or maybe after it, but they were having um, their end of the year sale. And again, this is something else that Leah Janae posted on her, I think her community tab, that they were having a sale and this palette was like seven dollars or something crazy like that so snatch it up like it was like free shipping and all like this palette is normally like 50 bucks or something like that y'all so i was just so in shock <laughs> that they were that they had it for that cheap and this one i do actually want to open on camera and show you guys so let's pray i don't break a nail yeah super pretty color story again it's just the type of colors that i love on my face and it matches my outfit today girl so yeah super excited to bust into this the last makeup item you guys is the morphe nyan collab if i'm saying that wrong i'm so sorry but this is the fierce fairy tale six piece color pencil set i thought this was a great deal to get six pencils um honestly the yellow one i don't know if i would actually use but the other shades are definitely shades that i would love to use for lip combos so this was for 99 and these are what the shades look like so super super cute again i will most likely be using these for lip liners for my various lip combos but i might try and play around with it and use it as like an eyeliner and see how i feel about that i don't know but I just thought it was super cute and I wanted to pick this up guys and then I also picked up a couple of sets of press-ons because like I just told you guys I am a press-on girl I just love the versatility so I picked these up from the brand Kala um the lavish touch these are super cute I love the design on these I picked up another one that was of course in a cute little pink girly shade so pink and gold I just love these so I might even wear one of these sets on my birthday, you guys. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling, but I just really, really love press-ons right now. They are just my lifesavers, and I will just always be a stand for them. So, yeah. Let's a couple of body care items. Again, I really tried my best not to go super crazy because y'all have been seeing me go crazy for semi-annual sale. I really do not need a whole lot of items in my body care collection. I went a little hand with makeup because I have been purging a lot of makeup and hair care products. So I've been a little bit more lenient with myself in that category. But I think after this, I will probably chill out a little bit on makeup and only get like random necessities that I might need. There are a couple of new makeup items that I want to try from Sephora. So I will probably treat myself around my birthday. But when it comes to body care items, I really don't need to do too much. But I did want to pick up this Nivea Coconut and Manoa Oil Body Cream. This I have not actually used before and I usually always love Nivea's body creams and things like that. And on the little chart here, it says this is a light feeling to the skin. So this isn't one of their more like rich, like thick type of body butters. Um, and it says that this is for normal to dry skin, oil and cream. So I put a little bit on my finger. Let's see how I feel about it, girl. Let's see. Yeah, it's very light, you guys. It's very light, but I feel like this would definitely be a great base layer. Again, Nivea is still pretty moisturizing. This definitely feels closer to the consistency of like some of their lotions. But I definitely get that very soft, light coconut and manoa smell. It smells kind of like the smell of like a hotel on vacation. Like if you're on a vacation or like an island or a beach or something. It smells really pretty though, you guys. I like it. I'm a fan of it. It was $5.99. You can't be mad at that girl, okay? The next item that I picked up, you guys, from Marshalls that I was super excited about, this is the Kopari KP Erasing um, Body Pads. So they're basically the Body Bumps Be Gone Clarifying Body Pads. So these are, first of all, you guys, I got these for $16.99. These are like $20 or $30.00. I think closer to $30 at Ulta. Again, I will have it linked in the description box below if you guys want to purchase through Ulta. But I got these for Marshalls for $16.99. And it comes with 50 pads, y'all. So that is amazing. And I have KP. It's basically the body condition where, you know, you kind of have like 
bumpier or rougher skin in certain areas so like the strawberry skin so i kind of have that on my legs like from my knees down so i would love to use something like this on my legs and see how it improves i don't get it as bad because i um don't shave as much like when i do shave i use that tree huts moisturizing body oil and that has helped tons in like reversing my kp but i really would like to try this out um, and just kind of see what difference it can make on my legs like before the summertime because it doesn't really bother me that much But I mean if I can make it look better girl, I can make it look better So I was happy to see this nonetheless cannot wait to try it out and see how it helps And then the last body care item before I show you guys a couple of perfumes that I picked up This is the pink sky vanilla bean exfoliating sugar scrub and y'all honestly I really just picked this up for the packaging like it looks so luxe and then of course it has this little scooper on the side like this looks like spa quality like literally but this was $5.99 so I don't know what it smells like girl we're about to find out it is a coarser texture and y'all it definitely smells really good I feel like I will get more of the smell when I use it in the shower but it definitely has this is kind of the texture of it so it's a pretty coarse scrub which y'all know I love and it just smells like a very soft cozy vanilla it smells really good you guys i just can't smell it a whole lot i've noticed with scrubs like this that don't have like a lot of oil sitting on the top already it's hard to get the true scent so i can't wait to use this in the shower and let you guys know how i feel about it hey you guys the last couple of items in this collective haul are just some perfumes that i picked up this one i actually picked up in december i just have not gotten around to talking about it but this is the kkw fragrance and jeff weatham collab in the scent caramel orchid my store did also have the rare fig as well as the other scents but those just really did not seem like they were up my alley and y'all this was a blind buy but i was so happy that i did because well first of all look at the packaging like that looks so cute and looks the bottle looks like super super cute and y'all this smells so good this is like a very creamy caramel with like a light floral undertone it just smells really creamy and yummy yummy i also think there's like cacao in here i looked at the notes in the store but i cannot remember what they are so i will have them on the side so you guys can see them but what i smell I really smell something that smells like either cacao or something kind of woody mixed with caramel. Y'all, it smells so good. There's a, like an underlying, I definitely smell orchid in here, like some sort of floral type of note, but it's still sweet. This smells really good to me, you guys. I love this. It smells so sweet on my skin, so I was very happy to find this. The last perfume, you guys, that I picked up was the Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden. Now, you guys, I was about to pass this by. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I do like the Dolce Shine. That is one in this Dolce Garden or Dolce line. They're all in little floral flower bottles. So I just kind of assumed that they were all super florally, but the Dolce Shine is actually, um, I hauled that one in an Ulta haul from this past summer. That one's definitely more of a juicy like mango type. But the Dolce Garden, y'all, I completely ignore it because I was like, I don't want to smell like a garden. Like, y'all know I'm a gourmand girl. I've been leaning a lot more into florals this year. But I was like, eh, do I want to see? But something told me to look up the notes for this. And y'all, this one is actually a coconut and tropical floral and vanilla fragrance. So y'all, I was so happy that I took a chance on this because first of all, y'all, it was $39.99, okay? But Sephora is selling this exact same one in the exact same size, the one fluid ounce, for $78. So the fact that I got the one fluid ounce for basically half off, sign me up. But I was pleasantly surprised when I actually smelled the fragrance because, y'all, I really, really like this. First of all, y'all, get into the bottle. This bottle is truly beautiful. This is like a super pretty feminine bottle. This is one of those bottles that you like keep after you empty it because it's so pretty oh y'all this smells so good this smells so good oh my god 
it's like super bright in the opening like I think there's like neroli in here again I will have the notes on the side by the time I'm editing this but I don't know what they are off the top of my head but I instantly get something super bright like neroli or something or some sort of citrus oh, but I almost instantly start getting that creamy coconut and like frangipani it smells so good and tropical and the florals are like they're there but they're kind of muted into the background all I really get is just like this creamy coconutty vibe mixed with those tropical florals and then my favorite part about this you guys is the dry down because I get tons of vanilla I think there's also sandalwood in the dry down as well so this name the name of this you guys is definitely super misleading like I was about to skip past it but I was like girl just pick it up try it see how you feel about it y'all I am definitely loving this I cannot wait till it starts to get a little bit warmer out because I will definitely be putting this to use in the warmer months all right, you guys, that is it for this collective haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some inspiration to go out and check your stores. And then, like I said, you guys, whatever I'm able to link in the description box, I will do that. But thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!